here again with another tutorial on my site. In today's episode, we're going to talk about a really, really cool and important feature that allows you to choose what price you want to charge your customers on your website. First, as always, log into newskin.com and then navigate to my site so that you can get to the configuration page of the website. The feature that we're going to talk about today is the pricing options feature. By clicking on this, you'll be able to choose what pricing you want to choose on your website. The two options here are retail and member. And because I have member pricing selected, you'll notice that if I go to my website, I have the retail price shown, but it's crossed out. And instead, the wholesale price is shown here. If you don't want to show that member pricing, you can go ahead and leave it as a retail member. And that's all you have to do to configure the pricing that you want to show on your website. A few things to note when I'm on my website uh, as a shopper, let's say, I'm going to see and be given the wholesale price, even though I'm not a member or a brand affiliate. This means that as I add this to my cart, like so, and I, cont and I continue to check out, I'm going to be forced, as I click continue here, I'm going to be forced to either become a member or log in with an account that offers member pricing. Unlike having a retail priced website, a member priced website does not offer the guest checkout experience. Someone that's shopping on your website that has member pricing will have to create an account. So they'll have to just click on become a member and then the fields to create a member account will be displayed. Once they fill all that out, they'll just click on sign up and check out and they'll be able to check out the way that they don't the way that they normally do. And there you have it for today's training on my site. Okay.